All right, so we're going to look at audio to MIDI conversion. And Ableton Live has some pretty cool new features in Live 9, actually. But the one I want to show you is to start with is a tried and true old one. And it's called Slice to MIDI. But I'm going to show you um, how you might not be able to see it at first. So I'm going to show you how this works. I got this sample here. Creating new sounds, disembodied voices, music from instruments that don't exist. This is the power of electricity. Okay, so there she goes. Now, if I right click this, I do have uh, some convert to MIDI dialogues. In fact, this is next video, next video, and next video. So what about this slice to MIDI then? Um, you will not see slice to MIDI unless your audio clip has a warp function going on it. So the second I turn on warp, it says slice to new MIDI track. Okay. Now, what I want to show you is that these are these little gray areas are transients. Okay, I'll show you how to add and subtract these in the next couple of videos. But for now, we're just going to let this go right here. And when I say slice to new MIDI track, I'm going to have some dialogues here. And it's going to say, do you want to slice it on the transient? And that's those. And you could say yes, or you could say slice on warp or slice on node or bar. For now, transient. And in here is kind of what seems like a more stunning um, bunch of choices here. Like, what's it all mean? All these are very simple. These are just, if I convert this to built in, it's just going to give me a simpler. And it's going to slice this disembodied voices into different samples. And... All these are different simplers with different macros knobs on them. So let's just do this first built-in one. Say built-in, it's going to say 40 slices. Now, you might throw in a clip here and it's going to say, sorry, dude, it's your past 128 slices and this is going to be great out here. No, okay, dude, it's really not okay. What, it, what they're saying is your clip is too long, your transients are too tight, your note values are too tight, so something or other has to give. Either you do half notes and cut it in bigger chunks, or you do a smaller amount of audio. Okay, so here we go. And you saw it. It just came right in, and it loaded it into a simpler. Okay, and I have 40 slices here. Some of, some of it's just noise, right? And then I have a MIDI region that is, if I go up, it is a MIDI version of this clip. So if I play through it. Creating new sounds, disembodied voices, music from instruments that don't exist. This is the power of electricity. Creating new... So much can be done in here. I'm select all with command A. And move all these down. Okay. What about our tricks here? Our reverse. Creating new sounds, disembodied voices, music from This is the power of electricity. Creating new. So, a bunch of stuff can happen in here. Just you know, you can reorganize. Put on my audition. Power Reorganize this, it works great on vocals. Creating new sounds, disembodied voices, music from instruments that don't exist. This is the pincer of electricity. Creating okay. new so, sounds. Dis let me just show you that I can get here and on my audio effects, I just get it to audio effects rack. I have my simpler showing, and I can easily just add effects to each sample. Why? Because they're all sliced into chains, okay? And the chains are all there. And in fact, if I wanted to modify slice 32, um, this, 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 this. you know, I could open this up and do, do so. This, 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 this. 31. This. You know, I could take that or and totally delete it, probably, or or get it this way. This, 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 this. So these are all the this. slices and samples within this thing. 
Okay, so why don't I just take uh, one of the bigger ones, one of the better ones, right here, probably. That's uh, gonna do it like this. Make this bigger, just like so. Creating news and audio effects. Let's get a uh, auto filter. Just like so. Creating new, creating new sounds, disembodied voices, music from instruments that don't exist. Just this, gonna this, start this is adding a power them. of electricity. Creating new sounds, disembodied voices, music from instruments that don't exist. This, this, this is the power of electricity. Creating new sounds, disembodied voices, music from instruments that don't exist. This, this, this is the power of electricity. Creating new sounds, disembodied voices, music from instruments that don't exist. This, this, this is the power of electricity. Creating new sounds, disembodied voices, music from instruments that don't exist. This, this, this is the power of electricity. Creating new sounds, disembodied voices, music from instruments that don't exist. This, this, this is the power of electricity. Creating new <laughs> sounds, awesome. disembodied voices, music from instruments that don't exist. This, this, this is the power of electricity. Creating Okay, so that last one was the redo that I added on there. And, of course, that's going to just smoke it to the ground right there. But I can get in here, do panning and all these things, and redo my order, redo my effects. You know, and obviously, if you were going to be serious about this, then you'd have to get in here and migrate some of those values down as they pop. Through. Creating new sounds, disembodied voices, music. You know, that one popper, you know, and you'd put a, you know, glue out there and control it a little bit uh, at the end of the whole thing, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Creating new sounds, disembodied voices, music. Okay. But one thing I can't wait to show you is the MIDI effects. And so guess what? I'm not going to wait to show you. I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so in here are arpeggiators. So how sear the now? Just add an arpeggiator to this disembodied man, and I have it there. Okay. Creating new Okay, so take a track, make sure warp is on, slice to, to MIDI, pick your conversion. If I do this again and pick a different one, let's say triplet armada, it's going to give me a different instrument with different macros. Creating the new voices, 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 this instrument, this instrument, this instrument, this instrument, voices, this instrument, this instrument, this instrument, this instrument, this And that was obtained by simply choosing these various different engines, these cutter engines, these guys here. This is a great feature.